What is up to all the two warriors of For Honor? My name is Miguel and hope you guys enjoy my new uh, spooky intro that I have for my For Honor videos. Um, you know, this intro, you know, I've been working on it for about a week and it came out perfect. You know, the editing was perfect. The music was perfect. And the feedback, you know, that you guys have gave me on the video uh, is positive. So I'm really, really happy that you guys enjoyed this video. And, uh, ah, dude, it just came out perfect. Oh, dude, it's so freaking, it's freaking awesome, dude. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you guys so much for enjoying that intro. Um, this I'm not going to be having this intro for long. I'm just only going to be having this intro only for October. Uh, so I am going to be going back to my old intro that I had before. But this intro that I have. It's just only it's just only gonna be coming out for for October. So yeah, so enjoy it while it lasts. So yeah <laughs> um, Anyway, so um, So this video is actually gonna be a short video It's not gonna be long as you know some of my other videos uh, Because you we, we only have a couple things to talk about uh, you know today uh, for this week for for honor We already have ourselves a new executioners challenge a new arcade quest And of course we have ourselves the first hero fest for year 6 season 3 of for honor and that is for the warmonger uh, Unfortunately, we do not have uh, the content of the week, which is unfortunate And if anybody is, is saying that the new uh, warmonger execution counts as the content of the week um, no, it does not count because you know so far the hero fest that we gotten so far comes with a uh, With a new a unique execution for that specific hero So the new unique execution does not count as counter of the week because it's only for the hero fest So yeah, I just want to go ahead and get that out of the way if anybody is thinking that that's what it is But it's not so it, it, it is not content of the week. Hey, I wouldn't mind if we got ourselves a new effect for, you know for this month of October I, I would have I been happy with that but we didn't have anything so it's, it's that that kind of sucks but you know either either way we have ourselves a hero fest for the warmonger and we have ourselves a new execution for her and it's freaking awesome so I can't wait to go ahead and talk about it so let's go ahead and talk about it so the first thing we're gonna be talking about is we have ourselves a new executioners challenge uh, in for honor and that's gonna be going on from October 7th all the way to October 10th and the executioner's challenge is be the faction with the most ex executions performed um, and first place gets four XP tickets. So if you guys want to go ahead and get four free XP tickets, uh, be the first faction with the most executions performed um, in either game mode, arcade, duel, a breach, dominion, uh, you know, elimination, skirmish, e either one. You know, just get the most executions for your faction and you get four XP tickets. Awesome. So the next thing we're going to talk about is we have ourselves a new arcade quest in For Honor. It's going to be going on for October 6th all the way to October 13th. And the name of this new arcade quest is called The Leaders of Wyverndale. Now, for anybody who does not know, in order for you to go ahead and play the arcade mode in For Honor, you have to own the March and Fire DLC. If you do not own that, you have to own the complete edition of For Honor. If you do not own either of those two editions, you have to have a friend that does have those two editions and he could go ahead and invite you into a game of For Honor and both of you could go ahead and play the new arcade quest in For Honor. So I just want to go ahead and get that, you know, out of the way for anybody who does not know that. Awesome. And now we're going to be moving on. I just hit my freaking oh, finger on my desk. Dang it. Ah, that hurts. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, yeah, okay, let's, uh, let's go um, back to what I was talking about. They, sorry about that. I just hit my finger. Ouch. Anyways, uh, so yeah, we have also a new Hero Fest in For Honor. Uh, the first one for Year 6 Season 3. And that is for the Warmonger. And that is awesome. Uh, and this Hero Fest is going to be going on for October 6th all the way to October 13th. So you have a week of the Hero Fest for the Warmonger. And for anybody who does not know what a Hero Fest in For Honor is, a Hero Fest is basically a celebration of the hero and what comes in a Hero Fest. Well, of course, the first thing that we have is, of course, you know, a free limited time availability in order for you to go ahead and play as the hero if you do not own them. So say if you do not own the Warmonger, and now the Hero Fest for the Warmonger is happening right now, which means you'll be able to go ahead and play as the Warmonger for free. 
and uh, you know you'll be able to go ahead and get gear for her. You'll be able to go ahead and do and customize her, but only for a limited time for you know for this week. Um, and if you guys enjoy playing as the warmonger, you will, you'll be able to go ahead and get her for 30% off. And, you know, that's a good deal. You'll be able to go ahead and get her at a discount. And not only do you get the warmonger at a discount, but you also get yourselves for just logging in. You only, you get these items for just logging in, in into the hero fest. You get yourselves two free symbols that you get to put on your character. Um, and you also get a free uh, emblem symbol. So you get three symbols, two, two uh, uh, symbols for your character and one emblem symbol for your emblem customization. And not only do you get that, but you also get yourselves a free, a, no not free, <laughs> sorry about that. You also get yourselves a new unique execution for that specific hero. And you know, the warmonger. Uh, she got herself a new execution, which is called the Slaughter of the Sheep, and it's going to be costing you 7,000 steel, and this execution, oh man dude, I remember, I remember when I first saw this execution, I actually winced a little bit because I was like, oh, whew, that is brutal. Uh, so basically, what this execution is, is the warmonger grabs his opponent, brings him down, she, you know, she, she, uh, basically just pulls her opponent's face into her sword and just basically just pulls the dude down all the way to the bottom, basically splitting her opponent's face in half. And that's just brutal because you can see that Larry is trying so much, trying to go ahead and, you know, fight it, but unfortunately, it does not work out. Larry died, which is sad. And uh, <laughs> man, dude, just imagine the pain on that. Oh, just imagine the pain. But you know what? War Mommy just basically gruesomely killed this dude, which sucks. Um, also, I don't know if you guys know, but this actually reminds me of a fatality from Mortal Kombat. Now, for anybody who does not know, in Mortal Kombat uh, X, which is Mortal Kombat 10, there was actually a fatality when the uh, character uh, Kung Lao, basically, he had his, uh, his hat, and he basically throws his hat on the ground. Basically, his hat, you know, goes on the ground and it just turns like, it, like if it's a saw blade. And Kung Lao basically just trips his opponents, and his opponent is his, his opponent's face is basically right there, at his you know at his hat, and Kung Lao basically just pushes his opponent's head into the blades of the hat, basically splitting the person's head in half. And this is and this execution of the warmonger is what it reminds me of. It reminds me of that fatality that Kung Lao has in Mortal Kombat 10, and it is brutal. Now, the only difference is that, you know, uh, Kung Lao's hat is actually, you know, rotating, uh, like a saw blade. This right here for the Wongmonger is just, you know, it's just standing still, and you're just, you know, the Wongmonger is, you know, just pulling force into, you know, the opponent's face, into her blade, thus slicing the opponent's uh, face in half. And it's just brutal, dude. <laughs> so, yeah. Finally, Warmonger has a, a, has herself another awesome execution, and it is brutal. So, really, really cool, dude. Um, I'm definitely getting that for uh, War Mommy. So, that's going to be awesome. But anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. We have also nothing else to talk about. Like I said, this video is actually, you know, short. We have, you know, we talked about the new execution challenge, a new arcade quest, and of course, the Warmonger Hero Fest, and her new unique execution, the Slaughter of the Sheep, and it is awesome. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video. Stay too cool, guys. Bye.